are looking live over South Charlotte from our Hyatt South Park camera. Enjoy it right now, what you are seeing, because today's dry, sunny, beautiful weather oh, might not last. Storms are returning this weekend. Tara, as I was walking in, I put my arms out and I just said, you know what, I'm just going to take this in because it is just a gorgeous day today and I know the yes. rain is coming. Soak up that vitamin <laughs> D while it lasts, I know. And, and that's not to say we won't see maybe some breaks or peaks of sunshine this weekend. Right. Tomorrow at this point is looking like the wetter half of the weekend. Okay. So Sunday especially we'll get some dry time in and hopefully it stays that way and some of the latest info that we're looking at and those computer models coming in showing maybe a little little bit of a drier picture for Sunday. Still, though, that rain and storm chance is not zero, even for Sunday. So we'll, we'll talk all about it. I'll show you some looks at future radar here. But as we look live over downtown Monroe, Union County, looking at that nice mix of clouds and sunshine today. Beautiful looking, beautiful feeling, too. Obviously, it's not terribly hot. That temperature only at 82 degrees outside of our studios. And the humidity is a little bit lower today as well. It's a dry scan on radar. But look at this off to the south. The scattered light showers aren't terribly far away. Once we head down toward Charleston, we have a couple of those sprinkles moving into Columbia, South Carolina. And the picture just gets wetter from that point on around these waves of low pressure. And all of that moisture is going to be headed our way. But not for high school football games this evening. Kicking off to a dry forecast out there for the next several hours. Not until we get closer to midnight or so do we have some of those showers starting to move in through the upstate. Temperatures in the mid 70s by halftime or so later on this evening. Right now we've got low 80s in places like Concord, Monroe there and Lancaster's at 82, 79 in Chester, 81 checking in Rockingham. You can see the upper 70s to the north heading up into the foothills and 60s up in the mountains. Now what to expect as we head into the weekend showers, as I said, will start to move in later on this evening by 11 o'clock midnight in a few neighborhoods, but then the rain will just overspread the region while we're sleeping tonight. Most of us waking up to that rain tomorrow morning. If you're up and at it, seven, eight, nine o'clock or so and beyond right on through lunchtime, we'll get some breaks in the afternoon. And as I said, at this point on Sunday, it looks like the showers and storms may be a little more just few and far between. So not as widespread of that rain that what we're talking about uh, for tomorrow. So rain and storms in the picture for tomorrow. Look at that high 90% chance of rain. That's going to keep temperatures down 75 degrees back in the mid 80s on Sunday, still with that chance of scattered showers. Let's check it all out on Futurecast. Here we are at midnight, starting to see signs of things moistening up here in the atmosphere. And you can see how the showers heavy at times overspread the area. There could be some thunderstorms in the mix, too. So you could hear some rumbles late tonight and early tomorrow morning. There we are 430 tomorrow afternoon. Obviously, we have the Charlotte FC match kicking off tomorrow against New York City FC and it may not be a total washout but certainly take the rain gear along with you and then that may be as I said the majority of the rain so Sunday at about 9 30 here's what it could look like a lot of clouds can't totally rule out maybe a couple of showers or so and then by 4 30 there we go best chance of rain may end up being up in the mountains and areas east but still a hit or miss shower thunderstorm can be totally ruled out for the Panthers game against the Browns kick off at one o'clock and look at that temperature at kickoff 78 degrees and will only top out into the uh, low to mid 80s later in the day. By the time all is said and done, looking at about one to two inches of rain where we see some of those downpours setting up and the chance of storms will continue into Monday. And then by the middle of next week, it looks great. Temperatures in the 80s, but with that low humidity 